I dove deep into some of the biggest web hosting platforms on the planet and discovered three key aspects you should consider before buying SiteGround. And what you're about to learn will finally allow you to work out for yourself how much you should be spending on web hosting, as well as what type of users SiteGround is actually best for. So let's start with SiteGround aspect number one. Here's how this whole thing is going to work. For every aspect of SiteGround, we're going to look at another web hosting provider that takes a completely opposite approach, and then we'll compare the two. For our first aspect, I'm going to compare how SiteGround and Cloudways, another popular web hosting provider, deal with pricing. With SiteGround, you need to enter a contract and prepay in advance. SiteGround wants your commitment. You can choose to pay each month, each year, or once every two years, but the monthly prices are so absurd that they very much incentivize you to pay once a year or once every two years and just forget about it. However, your first payment will be discounted, but every payment after that is charged at a regular rate. So if you go for a yearly billing option, which is currently the cheapest, the startup plan is $36 for the first year and goes up to $216 each year after that. On the other side of the spectrum, we have Cloudways. There are no prepaid contracts, you simply get billed for each hour of use instead. And you don't even have the option to pay yearly. You'll pay each month for the amount of hours your server was running. So, if you let the cheapest server run 24-7 each month, it'll cost you $132 a year. But if you decide to delete your website and server at any point, you won't be charged anymore. So which pricing model should you gravitate towards, prepay or flexible? Honestly, both average out at a very similar price. Generally, you want your website online 24-7. So even if you do go with flexible pricing, you'll be running your server constantly and not really taking advantage of any of the flexibility. But from a price perspective, grabbing at least one year of SiteGround is beneficial in 99% of cases due to the heavy 80% discount that you receive during the first year. And remember, they don't tie your website up. It's not a hostage situation. You can always take your files and host them elsewhere once your contract is up if you don't like the price. Let's move on to aspect number two and compare how SiteGround and DigitalOcean handle server configuration. So DigitalOcean, if you never heard about them, offers you the ability to rent server space and resources from them and use it for pretty much anything you want. You can use this space and resources to build and host applications, create virtual machines, run programming software, or simply create websites. You're pretty much renting an empty space and you decide if you're gonna turn it into a living space, a factory, a kitchen, or whatever you like. While this has a lot of freedom, it also has a lot of complexity that comes with it. After all, if you don't have construction, electrical, plumbing, and manufacturing skills, it's hard to turn this empty space into something awesome. On the other hand, SiteGround and most other mainstream providers like Hostinger, InterServer, DreamHost are a lot more limiting. You can't really choose how many resources you get, you can't choose what operating system your servers are running, and you can't host anything else apart from websites. Everything is done for you, but each of their plans are basically pre-made to run websites smoothly, right out of the box. Instead of getting an empty space, think of it like renting a room, where everything is already taken care of, you just need to decorate it. And another upside of this is that you get a lot of features and tools already configured and enabled, like automatic daily backups which allow you to restore websites to a previous state if something breaks accidentally. You get full access to custom email addresses, easy to use speed optimizations requiring just a few clicks, and SSL certificates to keep your websites encrypted. So if you want a fully customizable environment that you're in charge of, you won't get that with SiteGround. You simply get a pre-made and optimized space for a WordPress website. Nothing else. And this brings me to my third point. 
The let me do it for you approach that SiteGround utilizes comes with some serious website speed benefits. So even though you're not in control, that's not a bad thing because SiteGround knows what they're doing and they can probably do it better than you or I ever could. While I don't have a polar opposite for this point, I have something even better. A direct competitor. Bluehost, a very popular web hosting company basically built their reputation on WordPress hosting. They advertise specifically as a WordPress hosting company, but both GoGeek and starter plans from SiteGround have a server response time of less than 100 milliseconds, while Bluehost has a response time of almost one second, making their servers 10 times slower. I've also ran some WordPress benchmarks and SiteGround consistently scored an 8.2 out of 10 on their cheapest plan, scoring high on every single test. At the same time, Bluehost's score went as low as 7.4, really struggling in some individual tasks, scoring as low as a 4 or a 5. So to demonstrate these numbers in real life, let's compare the loading time of an identical website hosted on both providers. SiteGround is pretty much instant, while Bluehost definitely lags behind. By the way, you can do these tests yourself. Visit uptime.emitreviews.com where I have publicly hosted identical websites on different providers that you can test at any time. If you're not sure of what you're doing, I highly recommend trying out SiteGround for at least one year with the 80% discount. It's only $36 and I really struggle to find something better for that kind of price. But if you do enjoy freedom and you want to learn how to effectively build a really powerful hosting server for just $5 a month and a little bit of technical work, watch this video next.